Welcome back to my channel. Um, I first want to apologize for being gone for a few weeks. Oh, it's been such a crazy time right now. Um, and it was just not the time for me to film any videos. I also feel like I kind of got a little burnt out with the amount of videos that I was doing. It's kind of like when you go to the gym like hardcore after not working out for a very long time consistently and then you kind of burn out quickly. I think making three videos a week was kind of too much and um, I just need to kind of reel it back in. So instead I want to make two videos per week as opposed to just three. Um, so forgive me for that. Thank you for having grace with me and patience. Before we get started, I just want to mention something that's very obvious. It's going to be very obvious in this video, but I have tan hands. Um, I've always tried to sort of keep my hands very light with my tanner, but this time instead of getting medium shade, I got the dark shade and um, this is what you have going on right now. So yeah, this is the day after tanning, self tanning. For all those that are self tanners, you know the struggle. It is, it is seriously a struggle. So this is something that I received in the mail that I have just started using. Um, I wanted to try it out for a few weeks before actually reviewing it because um, I didn't want to not know what I was talking about. But I received the Mix Easy. This is, the one. this is the front the mix easy spin care system so and this is what it looks like Let's see fairly good size um, it comes off of this little handle it's kind of wet because I just grabbed it from my bathroom um, so forgive me for that, but um, this is the stand that it comes with so that it's not just kind of laying anywhere in your bathroom um, So I really like that and then you kind of stick it in there And as you can see this has a brush on it already, but you can take it off. It's super easy to take off um, And this is the cleansing brush that I've been using And Yeah, so it has the on button right here and then the speed button right there and you just press it on that's what it does it spins around and it only has two speeds so there's fast and then slow <laughs> fast and then slow and that's it it's super simple very easy to use it's battery operated so you do need um, for double A batteries to use this. Obviously, this resembles a Clarisonic in some shape or form. Um, it is not a Clarisonic. It's actually a much cheaper version. I think it is right now going for $49 on their website. They have like face care, hair care um, on their website and every, everything's supposed to be like paraben free and like vegan friendly. So anyway, when I got contacted about reviewing this, I definitely wanted to try it out because I thought that would be really cool to see. And you know, I don't neglect my skincare routine at all. I mean, okay, that's a lie. There are times where I'm super tired and I'll just take off my makeup and just like crash in bed. But that is very rare. Like I have to be really tired for that because I never want to skip my skincare routine. I'm going to show you what the box comes with. So this comes with an exfoliating brush for your face and a cleansing brush. And one of these are supposed to be it. Like one of these is supposed to be a, an exfoliating brush, but I honestly can't tell the difference. Like even in this, like you can't really tell the difference, right? They're right on top of each other so i don't know i've been using one that i think is the cleansing brush and it's been doing a good job it's very gentle with my face which is nice um but yeah i don't know unless i got the same brush on accident in my kit um this might be a little firmer than this one 
I don't know. I'm so confused about it. So you get um, a full body brush that you can attach to this. So you can use this in the shower. Um, so you detach it and then you just take it and then you attach it. And you can see that it just kind of goes. It's a great way to deep clean your body. Um, so the next thing we have is the crude polish accessory and this is actually for your nails. You can help um, kind of polish up the tips of your nails with this as well, um, which I think is really awesome. Next thing that we have is the pumice stone. Now this pumice stone is not meant to be used on your face. It's meant to be used on any rough areas of your body. So um, for example, on your elbows, um, around like your feet or something, um, just to get rid of really rough skin. That's what you want to use this for. So you just again attach it and then you're going to turn it on. And you can control the speed. Just two speeds, not many at all. Okay. What I would say is that it's done a really great job at, I think, getting into my pores and really making my face feel and look really really clean i don't know about you guys but sometimes when i clean my face i still the next day have um residue of like makeup especially around like my hairline um sometimes i'll like scratch a little bit and i can see underneath my nail that there's still foundation on my skin and usually i'll just use my hands to put on my skincare but lately I actually had been contemplating buying something to go deeper into my skin um, in a gentle way, obviously. So I thought that this was perfect timing that this came in and that I was able to try it out because I really can tell a difference, especially running outside. So much dirt gets into your um, skin. It's disgusting, you're sweating, you're you know oily, um, pretty nasty and when I come back in the house I like not only wash my body but I also want like to wash my face as well and to go in there with this little machine I think makes me feel so much better like I'm really getting all the dirt and sweat and everything off of my skin and that is the most important thing okay I have been 100% committed to a routine now what does that mean? That means steps, right? Cleansing, exfoliating, toning, um, serums, moisturizing, all that. And um, I think that I haven't actually been 100% dedicated to like a skincare line because I've used many different varieties of skincare lines and I'm always willing to try something out that's new. Now I have dry skin and um, it's not the best all the time <laughs> and um, I have to make sure that I get and use products that are actually going to help nourish my skin with a lot of hydration other than like drinking water and drinking or eating fruits and vegetables with a lot of water in it um, I do need to sometimes put on heavier products so that my skin doesn't feel dry and tight and um, you know, dry skin is really um, prone to getting like rosacea and just scaliness on the skin and like rough patches and stuff and you just don't want that and I don't want flaky skin either. So um, yeah, that's basically my skin type. I do get a little oily from time to time. It's not an, an excessive amount of oil that I get in my T-zone area. So I wouldn't even say that I'm like combination. I'm just, I feel like overall I'm very dry skin person because even like my body is dry so i do exfoliate at least once a week and for that i use the dr brandt um, microdermabrasion age defying exfoliator now this is that it's limited edition i don't understand that but i really like this exfoliator because it has like the tiniest little exfoliating i want they're not even beads but um it's just so gentle and so soft but it really does a good job at taking off the dead skin off of my face and I appreciate that tons. <laughs> As for cleanser, I am using the Pixi Hydrating Milky Cleanser that I got not too long ago. And I've been using this 
seriously every single day and i love it so much like first of all a little goes a very long way like legit when i mean a little i mean like this much this cleanses your whole freaking face excuse my language but it's true it cleanses your whole face like i can't even once you put water to it honey like it just covers it all and it's great because you get to enjoy the product for much longer and not have to stock up until much later but um i should have brought a paper nap a napkin or something um anyway um they have a whole skincare line based on hydrating milky stuff. <laughs> um, so milk really helps. Obviously it has vitamin D in it, but it's very great for anti-aging. It's good for anti-inflammatory. So if you have very um, a skin that's very sensitive and has um, is prone to like getting really red and just inflaming, um, I would say check this out. It's supposed to be really soothing and um, anything milky and soothing for the skin is really great for like dry skin. So I really, really am enjoying this. It doesn't dehydrate my face. Now for those that have oilier skin, I do recommend the It Confidence in a Cleanser. It Cosmetics has a great line of skincare. I've used so many different products because they send me so much. And I really, I think that they have really great quality products that are not too much money <laughs> i tried to say that in a really discreet kind of gracious way but you can't yeah they just won't break the bank but this is a really good foaming cleanser and um it's supposed to be a hydrating cleansing serum but when i put this on it feels like i'm putting on um like a like a hand soap it gets super bubbly and everything and i'm like this feels so dry in my skin so i would say that this is best for oily skin but i could be wrong i don't know that's just my experience with it anyway um okay so use cleanser i use exfoliator and then i do use serums or not serums um toner toner is next um now i'm currently trying out the um, milky tonic um, which has jojoba milk and oat soothing toner um, and it's been good I mean I don't know toners are weird because they are supposed to help like level out the pH balance because after cleansers I guess your pH balance in the skin like it's out of whack um, and they're supposed to help restore that and balance it out um, and it's also supposed to help clean off any excess makeup that maybe your cleanser didn't remove um, however, if your cleanser is not removing your makeup fully, then maybe you're using a bad cleanser um, or the wrong cleanser, I should say. But I still tone anyway. Um, so I have this one and then I do have the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment. Um, and this is supposed to be like an anti-aging one. Now, for those that don't know, I am 34 now. My birthday was in June, so I turned 34 this year. Um, and I know that a lot of people think that I'm younger than I am, but I'm not. And I do see a difference in my skin now that I'm 34 and no longer 24. Um, I see certain lines and just like different <laughs> things that weren't there before. But um, I do think that any anti-aging products can be used like in your 20s as well. I would say it's supposed to be anti-aging. It's not supposed to happen. Like you're not supposed to start using anti-aging products right when you're aging and you have wrinkles, like very defined wrinkles. You should use it before because it's anti-aging. You're supposed to help prevent, or, or not prevent it, but slow down the process. Um, so uh, if somebody gives you a sample of anti-aging something, don't take offense if you're like 21. I would use it. So I use a toner and then I do use serums. So um, I do use this um, Private Doctor Define Minus Serum and it's supposed to help minimize lines and create def definition in your face. I know many of you are like, Stephanie, where are the lines on your face? Listen, I have lines on my face. Like I have laugh lines and listen, I can appreciate laugh lines. I think they're cute and I don't mind them too much. They're not a big bother, but when my like makeup starts creasing in my laugh lines that's when i have a problem with it but 
it's mostly like on my forehead i have these two lines or just it's one line right now no it's two lines i saw it today and then i have like the little frowny line in the middle that i don't like and it's more pronounced now than it ever was and i for me i just it's just not something that I want. <laughs> and if I can use anything to help um, smooth it out, then I will. So I've been using this, and I've been using this every day for about two weeks. And can I tell you that it's had a difference on my face? Like, a, I don't think so. But it also could be preventing it from getting deeper. So I don't know, but I'm going to continue to use it until I run out of it and then I'm going to get another one because maybe it's all in my mind. <laughs> I'm just realizing that I'm maybe a little crazy. Okay, um, and then I'm also using the Hydrating Milky Ser Serum <laughs> from Pixie once again. This um, has a little dropper Whoop. and it's very milky. <laughs> But it feels so nice to put on my skin. Um, so it's supposed to be a revitalizing skin boost. So I put this on at night. And then I will do some face masks throughout the week um, whenever I'm feeling, whenever I'm like multitasking with things. So it's always nice to do a mask when you're doing other things. So um, I use the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. This is supposed to have like antioxidants in it and it's supposed to help smooth and soften your skin. So this is what I'll use. Oh my God, look at that orangeness. I will never get the dark tanner again. I seriously. Okay, and then um, if I'm really going ham, I wanna get um, this Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. And it's supposed to be a a deep pore cleanser and it's supposed to help tighten your pores like that is the reason why I got it so it's <coughs> basically a powder and you mix water in there and then you with like a brush I use like an artist brush you kind of just like brush it onto your face and then you leave it on for like 15 20 minutes um, and you can actually feel like your skin tightening like it seriously reshapes your face it's so weird um i look crazy <laughs> but it's so funny because it says feel your face pulsate it's <laughs> the things that they say to use or to sell their products anyway so that is that and i've had this for four years <laughs> i don't know if it's still good you know I'm just being real for eye cream I am using this is kind of sticky and gross but it is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye cream and this is what it looks like on the inside it's blue it's like a light blue which I really love the color because I think it's fun it's supposed to help deep puff smooth and brighten your, underneath your eyes I just want it to be really hydrated underneath my eyes to be quite honest I do moisturize like at night I want to feel like I'm like I have like a balm on my face like that's how moisturized I want to be I don't want a little bit of moisture I want a ton of moisture so in order to do that with any moisturizer that I use is I will use my Radha rosehip oil moisturizer now rosehip oil is such a big thing companies make it all companies make it all stores sell it like it is huge now I have been using this. This is one product that I've used for years now, at least like four years, and I probably won't stop using it. Um, but this I get from Amazon, and the reason why I get it from Amazon and nowhere else is because everywhere else wants to sell you, sell you like a $25 bottle for like one ounce of rosehip oil. This gives you four ounces of rosehip oil, and it's 100% organic. Um, and I get it off of Amazon for like $15. That is such a big steal. Like, oh, I hope that never changes because it will be so sad. Or I'll just have to make more money because there's just no way that I thought that was somebody for me. I thought somebody was like, I thought my mom was here. I'm like, what is she doing here? Did she text me? Um, 
yeah, anyway, um, the reason why I love rosehip oil so much is because it really helps with anti-aging, it helps with smoothing out lines, it helps with um, in, any like inflammatory issues on the skin, like if you have rosacea, if you have any redness or pinkness, any discoloration on your skin, any dark spots, it's going to help with that, it's going to help with obviously hydrating your skin. Um, and I love the way that it looks on my skin, like it makes my skin look so fresh and clean and dewy and I don't care, like I will, whenever I don't wear makeup during the day, I will put this on because I just love how moisturized my skin looks. Now I am using the Hydrating Milky Lotion for moisturizer during the daytime um, and I really like the smell of this, it's just so yummy. I think it does a really good job at moisturizing my skin. If I ever want to amp it up, I will put mix in a few drops of this, which I don't know if I didn't show you, but it it's a little it's a little little dropper here, and it's like an orange color, but it kind of just like disappears and is clear when you rub it into your skin. So I'm just kind of moisturize it like this, and then for a much a thicker moisturizer at night, I will use the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone. It's for aging skin. And my skin is aging, let, let's be honest. But it's supposed to help with the surface cell renewal um, on your skin. And it just is really a really thick pink moisturizer. It smells good too, it smells like roses. Um, but I use this at night and it's great. Now to take off my makeup before I cleanse my skin, I do use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 um, Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. And somebody else makes a cleansing balm. I'm sure many client, many companies do. But um, it just looks like this. It looks like a little... It looks like coconut oil. That's what it feels like. Like really soft coconut oil and you just rub it into your skin and it melts the makeup off. My go-to makeup wipes right now are the Neutrogena Makeup Removers. Um, I think, honestly, I've used a lot of makeup wipes and I think that Neutrogena has the best makeup wipes. And there is a reason for it. One, the cloth, the towelette, whatever you want to call it, is super thick and just like drenched in the makeup remover that they put in here and also um, it's just when you take off your makeup sometimes I feel like some makeup towelettes really dry out my skin or don't do a really good job at like um, taking off everything I feel like it just gets drier by like each stroke <laughs> Um, but this, it stays super soaked and hydrated throughout the entire process and it leaves my skin feeling so soft and moisturized. I don't know what they put in this, but it's absolutely amazing. Like, I love it. Now I'm trying to read the ingredients and I don't even think I want to. <laughs> oh, it also helps remove any waterproof mascara in it too. Um... It said that there's no need to rinse after this, but if you're not rinsing and cleaning your face after makeup remover wipes, I, there's a problem. Um, but this is the bigger kind and I always keep a little um, travel size in my backpack because I usually carry a backpack. But yeah, that's about all that I use on my skin. Um, again, I do steps. I don't skip a step. Um, even if I do change up the product, um, I just stick to the steps because they work. I'm gonna be 100% honest, like I was never an acne prone kid, teenager, growing up or anything like that. I would get the occasional zit on the tip of my nose or like on my chin or by my mouth or wherever else. But never was I really a victim of acne. And I'm really grateful for that. I think that's why my skin um, looks really nice and smooth now. There's, I have a few like scars from like chicken pox when I was a kid or something, but other than that, I really don't have any um, like sort of acne damage to my skin. Um, 
and the pores on my skin are not really huge that it's a problem but um, I mean they're there like <laughs> everyone can see everyone's pores so um, but yeah so I've never had to deal with acne issues like that the only time that I really break out is when one the air is really dirty I'll break out whenever I'm gonna get my period that's when my heart, I see, I never broke out even with my period before when I was younger. And now that I'm older, it's like changing and I'm like breaking out. And so that is one of the signs that it's coming. And then I just like, that's when I know, like that's the only time that it happens. It's so weird how your body changes. That's it. Hopefully I didn't bore you with all this stuff. I know a lot of you guys say that you don't care what videos I make as long as I make a video. So I'm just going to like stay confident in that, you know? Anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great day. Love you. I will talk to you soon.